Hello everyone and welcome back to the World War II Solitaire Board Game Channel and welcome to this Kickstarter preview. This is the first time I do a video like uh, this and really excited to do it. Uh, so what we're gonna look at today is the second editions of 8th Air Force and 20th Air Force by Fortress Games. And as you can see here on the picture, uh, these two games uh, come in two boxes and these games have previously been uh, folio games. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the back of the boxes. We see uh, some updated graphics and so on and we're gonna get into that in a little bit. But I gotta say the back of these boxes, I love the graphics. Uh, I love the period photos that we see here on the back. And it is really looking like quite an upgrade uh, to first edition. So if 20th Air Force perhaps and 8th Air Force, if, if there's a bell ringing, that might be because you might have watched my top five solitaire war games uh, video on my channel. Uh, 20th Air Force uh, was on number four on that list. Uh, 20th Air Force is a big favorite uh, for me, one of the best games in my uh, opinion that I have played uh, out of the games that I've played, which are about 100 World War II solo games. So uh, I used to like the system with 20th Air Force. Um, both 8th, 8th Air Force and 20th Air Force has the same kind of core system, which is quite, for me anyway, it feels logical and it doesn't feel so abstracted. Uh, I like that style. And then they have different kind of, um, besides the core system, they have different kinds of, of systems added to them. And the 20th Air Force has a uh, research system where you will research, you know, uh, your um, your fighters, your uh, sorry, your bombers. You will uh, finally be able to research to be able to get the nuclear uh, bomb if that's something that you want to go for. And I really like uh, the feeling of achievement as you progress through this research, and also gives the player uh, a lot of good options uh, how to tackle the game. Uh, anyway, uh, this game is uh, set to launch on uh, the 17th of January on Kickstarter, could be later depending on uh, approvement uh, and so on, there uh, haven't been approved by Kickstarter yet. And it's set to end on the 18th of March. I do not know the price of this game yet. I do know, however, the funding goal, which is quite low, $3,000. So I would be very surprised if that wasn't met. A, a very good thing with this is that it's expected delivery is May of 2023. So, I mean, that's just a couple of months. That's two months after, after Kickstarter ends. And again, I would be surprised if the designer, the publisher did not meet that expectation because these games are made in the US. And that's, you know, for me anyway, that's a good good reason to buy the game because I, I mean, there's several reasons for me why I much rather buy a game produced in the US or in the EU instead of being uh, produced in China uh, where uh, board games are usually produced and uh, the main reasons for that would be number one I wouldn't have to wait for the game to be shipped from China and you know what you all of these problems you have the Chinese New Year's that stops production and shipping problems and so on and 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 uh, then it's getting delayed and so on. That's not going to happen if it's made in the US or EU. It could possibly happen, but much less likely to happen. And on the second part, yeah, I'd rather much support jobs in a, uh, in a country which is a democratic country instead of supporting jobs and a regime which is, you know, um, imprisoning people, a bunch of bad stuff to people. So I much rather buy a game made in the US or in Europe. Uh, anyway, uh, the Kickstarter game is going to ship to US and Canada. So unfortunately, there's not going to be any shipment to the EU or any other part of the world. However, just as the last Kickstarter, this game is going to be offered to international buyers through a retailer after the Kickstarter fulfillment. So I know that Fortress Games right now have their games for sale for... Um, 
international uh, backers through Noble Knight. Uh, so Fortress Games has, uh, they made a few games before. They have the 8th Air Force and 20th Air Force, obviously. And then they also made uh, Save Afghanistan, Comrade, and Save uh, South Vietnam. I haven't played those couple of games because, as you know, I only do World War II. I have looked over them and, and they look uh, similar to these games in the sense that they also seem to share the same kind of core system, but then they have individual uh, changes to them. And uh, these four games are all available. Um, so the updated, of course, 8th Air Force and 20th Air Force. And then you could also get uh, Save Afghanistan and, and Save uh, Vietnam. So there's going to be a bunch of uh, discounts if you actually buy this game during the Kickstarter, for example there will be according to the publisher there will be uh, massive discounts for those who bought either game in the original kickstarter uh, three years back there will also be discounts for those who own the game from retail uh, not sure how that's going to work but i guess we're going to find out in the kickstarter uh, there will also be discounts for new customers during the kickstarter campaign uh, and significant discounts for those who buy both games and then uh, you're also going to have the option option to buy all four of these games so the updated uh, 20th air force 8th air force and uh, save afghanistan save vietnam and if you get all of those four games you're going to have about 70 bucks uh, of total discounts i think that's a pretty good deal Anyway, let's go ahead and take a closer look at these two games and what's new with this um, uh, in this new version. So if you're interested about how the game plays, you have, uh, I'm going to give you a link in the video description of this video. I have done a full playthrough uh, of both 20th Air Force and 8th Air Force. So you're going to be able to find those on my channel. And again, I will uh, give you a link in the video description. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our new stuff. So first of all, we have rewritten game manuals to clarify areas of questions. Uh, and they also added uh, lots of uh, gameplay examples. So I think this is a really good idea because as you obviously understand, I do like the original game very much. Uh, I mean, it's again, it's one of my favorites, uh, at least 20th Air Force. I do like 8th as well, but 20th Air Force is just something special about that game to me. Uh, one thing that I was not so impressed with was perhaps the rules. It did take me some time to learn them because uh, the way they were presented and the lack of uh, many game examples and so on. So uh, I think that's a really good idea to uh, to rewrite the rules uh, uh, and use the player feedback from all the questions to add clear gameplay examples and so on. Uh, and then we have redone art and pretty much everything is new with the art of course. We have uh, first of all the counters and I gotta say with all of the new art this is th what I'm most impressed about. Let's look here at 8th Air Force for example and we look at the plane counters and it's just such a big difference because we look here at the old counters from the 8th Air Force and, you know, we have the B-24 here and uh, FW-190 and, you know, it's just the silhouette of those planes. And if we look at the new counters, wow, that's such an improvement. <laughs> look at the P-51 as well. The improvement is just immense. And of course, the same with the P-47. We can see here we have some other counters that are updated, but uh, I mean, that's uh, for me, it's well, uh, according to the publisher, I think some of them are, are, are edited in a way to make them uh, stand out in a better way. But uh, I mean, the plane counters, of course, are the most impressive. We can see that clearly here. Let's go ahead and take a look also at the 20th Air Force counters. And we see here it's the same uh, with the plane counters, a really, really big upgrade. They look so much better. But I also got to say the other counters here, for example, the city counter and the harbor counter here. Wow, also a very big different difference. Uh, really, really big difference and lot, uh, looks much more beautiful. So other than the counters, we have the player aids. Uh, they have added a color and period feel. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the 20th Air Force um, 
we can see here the the Japan industry damage chart and we can see the first one is blank it's white and the new one has some you know there's some clouds some uh, bombers here on the side it's not too much to distract distract you from the charts so i think that's a good idea and also this is pretty funny that this is done because this is my one complaint of this game on my top five uh, world war ii solitaire board games video I talked about how um, how I found these charts to be really boring. We can see the research chart here. <laughs> wow, that's a big change, uh, you know, really big change. Uh, if we look at the other one here, the old one, and uh, you know, it's the white one. It's a, it's a little bit boring. It just feels a little bit underdeveloped. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the chart here on the Eighth Air Force and. Uh, yeah, it's also updated with, uh, with you know, I think it looks a lot better. And again, it's not distracting the blue, uh, the blue and white background with uh, its its white clouds and a blue sky. And you know, we have some other graphical updates here. I think it looks a lot better. And what do we have more? We have redone game boards to give a top graphical feel to the land masses. And uh, I'm looking at the new. I'm looking at the new and the old um, map here of the 8th Air Force and I gotta say it's a little bit hard to get that feeling. Uh, maybe, yeah, if we look here actually at the upper right corner, I can see what he means with the increased topographical map update. Uh, to the left here we can see it's just, it's just basically green and on the right side we can see that it's... Uh, kind of indistinct uh, you can't really see it too well it's kind of transparent which is good because otherwise it would be too much stuff going on uh, but yeah we can see the mountains and stuff here and also we can see the cities or the bombing targets berlin for example uh, the old one is more of a you know looks like it's done in paint and the new one is more actually of a photo i guess uh, i'm gonna say of all the upgrades this is the least uh, impressive uh, we look at the 20th air force here and i gotta say this is a lot better improved uh, we can see on the left side it's just again it's just basically green and here we have more here I can actually understand it better, the topographical effect that, you know, mountains and stuff. So I think that looks a lot better with the 20th Air Force. Okay, and what do we have more? We have game now in beautiful boxes instead of folios. And I gotta say, that's, uh, that's very cool. I just prefer my games in boxes because with the folio, you know, it's hard to transport them and... You know, it's easy that they bend and have damage, stuff like that. It's just more convenient to store in a box and also it looks better. It looks a lot better to have a boxes, you know, in your in your um, bookcase instead of having a box of, uh, sorry, a bunch of um, bags and folios. And again, these boxes aren't the beautiful. I mean, the... The, the the front of the box is quite simple, the graphics, uh, and it's I think it's exactly the same as the folio fronts, but I think the back uh, is really nice. We have a bunch of different counters showcasing some of the new counters and the map. Anyway, uh, that's our beautiful boxes, and then there is one last thing, and certainly last but not least because i think this is one of the most exciting stuff about this new two edi second edition uh, and that is okay so the first editions had a bunch of really cool option rules eight air force had the option rules of uh, german jet fighters and uh, second uh, sorry 20th air force had option rules of uh, Japanese jet fighters, uh, the sharp sword jet fighters, as well as um, early uh, early Soviet victory, which uh, changed on winning conditions. But uh, of course, the jet fighters were the most fun, and uh, that's what we're gonna see more of. So it's not just the same game with updated graphics. We actually have a bunch of new optional rules to play around with. So in 8 Air Force, uh, we have an optional rule that allows the Luftwaffe to, to deploy their fighters even earlier, as early as April 44. And then for the United States Army Air Force, uh, optional rules for them to introduce their own jets early on. So we're going to have a bunch of jets fighting over Europe. 
So that's I think that's really cool. In 20th Air Force, um, we have we still have the old option rule of the uh, Mitsubishi J8M jet fighter, the sharp sword. Uh, and new additions to option rules, there's a bunch of them, but we have, for example, that you can activate the 7th uh, fighter command from Iwo Jima in April 45 to fly very long range fighter support for B-29s, as they did historically. Uh, and uh, we didn't have those fighters in the 20th Air Force originally, so that's a great addition to the to the game. Also, if the game uh, extends beyond August 45, we have optional rules uh, which allows for activation and deployment for several bomber groups and fighter wings of the historically redeployed eight air force from europe so basically you have an early win uh, over germany and the eighth air force will come over to japan to help you out uh, to uh, finish off japan so those are the optional new some of the new optional rules and uh, i'm really excited for this kickstarter to launch to get the full information about all of this stuff but just the optional rules that i've been presented i think sounds very fun and again, 20 of Air Force, one of my favorite games. Of course, I want to play that more. And 8 Air Force, even though it's not on my top 5, I would say that it's definitely on my top 10. So 8 Air Force as well. And I like I like the fact that they share the same course system because it's so simple. You learn one and then the second one is much easier to learn. So, uh, and it's just, you know, you play both of these games, you're going to remember that course system and it's going to flow really well. Uh, another thing about uh, this, so learn when, when talking about learning these games, uh, I know that the publisher has been thinking about uh, how to help people to actually learn the game besides watching playthrough videos and, and, and reading the rules. And there is an idea of making a short scenario that only consists of two or perhaps three turns, which will most likely be an end of war scenario and a specific scenario that is just designed to help people uh, understand the mechanics of the game and get into the uh, sequence of play and flow of the game. And uh, I would like to know what you think about that and the designer and the uh, developer and publisher would also like to know because if that is something that many people would uh, want, I think that is something that they perhaps could give us. Uh, I think actually that's a really good idea. Uh, I tend to, when, pe when, when they have those in games, I tend to try those out first, just because if you have a general idea and understanding of the flow of the game, reading the rules will be much more easy as you will actually kind of connect that to the sequence of play, to the flow of the game and understand it rather than just reading it and trying to understand it. Anyway, guys, uh, that is 20th Air Force, 8th Air Force soon launching on Kickstarter, so stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to post on my community page, of course, here on YouTube as soon as the Kickstarter is up or the Kickstarter preview page is up. Uh, and even if you're in Europe or uh, Australia, New Zealand, you can still get it from, I'm guessing, perhaps Noble Knight after the Kickstarter or any other um, retail store that will ship internationally. Uh, the publisher have uh, told me that that is going to ship internationally after Kickstarter has finished. Other than that, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video, as always. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video. If you want to help out a little bit extra, you can become a supporting member of the channel for only $2.99 US dollars a month, or you can do a one-time donation through PayPal or uh, YouTube Super Thanks. Uh, again, uh, watch the links in the video description where I play the first editions of these uh, two games, 8th Air Force and 20th Air Force. And it's a long game, so it's, um, it's divided into three videos. Uh, but if you just want to get a general idea of how the game looks, uh, uh, sorry, how the game works and the sequence of play and the core system, you know, it's enough to just watch it for a few minutes. Okay, guys, thank you again for watching. I will see you next time.